Julie Davis here with the Davis team, and I have with me the owner of Schaefer Douglas Title, Eric Schaefer, and Hillary Bitford, the closer for Schaefer Douglas Title. Just a little bit of background. They are a professional company that specializes in title and closing services for real estate here in Maine. They are a leader in the regional area in this industry, and they have offices in Yarmouth, Towson, and South Portland. They have an excellent team of professionals who work cover complex issues from mortgages and escrow to title insurance and legal guidance. And they are determined and committed to delivering excellent clients with reliable and timely and thorough uh, services. So we have had the pleasure to work with them, and we just wanted to sit down with them and ask them a few questions today. I appreciate your time today. So the first question we had is, can you share a story about a time when you helped a client to overcome a challenge possibly during the closing process? So this would demonstrate how it's helpful to work with a qualified title company. Oh, I'll start if you don't mind. <laughs> so of course, we always try to be accommodating. As part of our service as well, we do offer travel closing. So we're not always at the closings of the office. We do hit the road as well. So my scenario came about with a realtor that we do a lot of business with. So having that relationship is very important as well. But it came to be that her buyer client only had one day available for closing because they were out of state. So they were flying in that day. And it happened to be a holiday, a Monday holiday. And as we know, not only are we closed on the holidays, but also the banks are. So it was a very much so team effort because we have a very good relationship with that loan officer as well. So we were able to communicate with the mortgage company to make sure that they approved signing on a day that they weren't open as well. And everything lined up. We had our set um, needs, if you will. So we had to have all the documents in advance to make sure that the buyer reviewed them. And if they had any questions, they had to ask that the day that they were available, e Friday before the Monday holiday. <laughs> so we were able to accommodate all of that. I went into the office on that holiday as well and did the closing. And everyone was super excited and happy to have the deal done. And it did. It went seamlessly, thank God, because, again, we had no other means come the day of closing because everyone was closed. <laughs> so, yeah. And so, again, we try to accommodate as much as we can. So just having that relationship as well with those realtors and loan officers makes a difference, too. The story that came to mind for me was we had a closing several years ago. It was a divorce situation on the seller side. Okay. And the wife was attending the closing and the husband didn't show up or the ex-husband. Um, so as we were signing and she was trying to frantically hunt him down to see where he was, why he was not closing. She finally had come back into the closing after we had signed all the buyer documents to say this, he told her he was too busy, that he was working and that it just wasn't his problem. So, um, after where he worked, likely it was only about 15 minutes from our office. I said, let me just go run to his workplace and see if we can hunt him down. They grabbed the file and went to the retail spot that he worked and found him there and said, look, I've got the file and I'm ready for you to sign here. So we got it signed. It delayed the closing by an hour or so. I went and hunted the wayward ex-husband down, but we got it closed. And unfortunately, that's not even the most wacky <laughs> one we've had over the years. A lot of things go up. And it's a matter of trying to stay calm when things go sideways in the closings. And there's usually a way to fix it. Uh, you just got to keep everybody from panicking. And so yeah. we try to remain calm and make sure everybody knows we're going to get it done. That's great. And your tagline is close with confidence. Correct. <laughs> yes. That is very appropriate. I think these two examples are great. Yeah. With how keeping cool, calm, and confidence. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah.